Hello, I'm Chip Cahoon, storyteller and children's author, and I'd like to invite you to be part of something really incredibly fun, but also seriously life-changing. You see, children who love to read do better at school. That is hands down scientific fact. In 2013, the Institute of Education proved this. They proved children who love to read do better in every single subject, including maths and science. And this was a more important factor than other things like background or uh, where you come from, your social background. Roald Dahl himself is actually a really good example of this because he was born into this country as the child of two immigrants who were struggling to find their way in the country, but he absolutely adored stories. This made him an avid reader and what happened to him? He became a best-selling writer, a medical inventor, a spy, and even a good parent. But helping children to develop a love of reading can be quite a struggle. There are far too many children today who just don't think that books are for them. So I started to wonder what would happen if the children of today had easy access to the same stories that Roald enjoyed when he was young. That's why I decided to start writing Rolled Off The Tongue, this work that you are looking at the Kickstarter for right now. I wanted to include all of the stories that Rolled heard when he was just a boy listening to his mum for bedtime or listening to his teachers at school. And they're fantastic stories with all of the things kids love, like heroic children and talking animals, magic, adventure, and even the occasional troll that explodes in a shower of blood, guts, and carrots. Because there's always carrots in your guts for some reason, aren't there? Anyway, I happened to meet an award-winning illustrator who absolutely loved the sound of this work and agreed to illustrate it for me. And who's he? Hello, boys and girls. My name's Corky Paul, and I am the illustrator of Winnie and her friend Wilbur. I'm very excited to be part of this project of Rolled Off the Tongue. Be to work together with, uh, with a great writer is always a joy. And uh, the work that I've done with Chip so far has proved that. So I think Rolled Off the Tongue is going to be a big success. Bye. Having Corky on board was amazing. But like a lot of artists, the COVID lockdown hit my finances pretty hard and I had to give up writing basically to take on a job that would pay the bills quicker. I knew that there were fans out there of my previous works. They'd been in touch with me. And so I wanted to send them something as a way of saying thank you for their support and also, well, goodbye. So I sent them a draft of Rolled Off the Tongue, the unfinished manuscript. And after a few weeks, I was overwhelmingly humbled by the responses that I got back. Not just because children as young as six were saying things like, You are the best storyteller ever. And children as old as 11 were saying things like, I really love this book. But because parents and teachers were getting in touch with me to say that children who previously hadn't even cared for books were now suddenly really interested in listening to stories, reading stories, and even writing stories. The book was great for engaging the children, even the children who maybe usually don't listen as, as carefully as some of the others. They were all just totally involved in it. Well, my class are quite young and some of the stories are quite long, but they, despite that, they were really engaged in them. Now as a, a difficult child at school, he's been known to be quite hard to engage, but actually I noticed immediately he was actually really responsive to the book. You can hear more of their feedback further down on this Kickstarter page, where I'm sure you'll realize that parents and teachers put the success of this book down to the quality of the stories that I'd chosen to put in the book, but also the style of the writing. You see, I've written this book as if I'm telling the story to you, which is perfect for engaging children who are just getting into reading, and also makes it perfect for reading out loud, for classrooms or for bedtime stories. Since it was already encouraging reluctant readers to read and struggling writers to write, 
I realized that this could be the most important book I have written so far. That is why I am truly excited to invite you onto this journey with me. With your help, I'll be able to concentrate on getting this book finished, getting it published, and help more children to develop that empowering gift of a love of reading. In return, we'll make sure that you get a copy of the book, but you'll get so much more than that. You'll get development materials, audio clips, private storytelling screenings on, on, online, and of course, your name in the book. And if you'd like to help a child who really deserves it, then you can also pledge for a copy of the book to go to the Assisted Reading for Children charity, or give a gift to a young carer through the Honeypot charity. This book will get written with your help. However large or small, your pledge will help Corky and me to focus on finishing the book. But not only that, you'll have first access to all of the drafts so that you can help us to road test them. And probably most important of all, your pledge will prove to publishers that there is demand for this book. So when we finally take it to them, they will be more ready to give it the marketing and distribution it needs to get in all of the bookshops and get in all of the schools. We need to get this book finished. Corky and I need to get focused on finishing this book. So please pledge as much or as little as you can to help make that happen. And another great thing that you can do to make this magic happen is of course to share this Kickstarter with everyone you think might be interested. Oh, and one more thing, if you've got any questions for us, please just visit the FAQ tab on our Kickstarter page and ask away. Right now though, it only really remains for me to say thank you. And I look forward to sharing stories with you soon. So, Thank you, and I look forward to sharing stories with you soon.